Hello and welcome to La Vida Football. My name is Luis Tauriano. I am a UEFA B licensed coach. Today's video is a small sided game and this is the eighth video for the small sided game series. And this small sided game is 4v4 plus four players on the outside. And if you are a coach, then the coach would be set up on any of the four corners. This would keep you away from the game and out of the way of the players. Now the setup for this exercise is quite simple. I like to use half the field because we need a lot of space and inside the half you need a grid that is 25 by 20 meters, 30 by 25 meters or 35 by 30 meters. So it really just depends on the size and what your purpose for that day is. So this exercise could be used for different purposes, right? If you want quick touches, quick reactions, then you make the grid a little bit smaller. But if you want to focus on using space, space and creating space then a bigger grid would be more effective in that case for the teams you need 12 players and those 12 players would be divided into three teams of four so here for example we have black blue and green on the outside and of course you would need pennies or something to differentiate the teams and of course four mini goals on the outsides okay so the mini goals are placed on each of the four touch lines in the middle of the touch line the task is for the teams to connect seven passes and the team in possession can use the four players on the outside. The objective of having the four players on the outside is for the players to become aware of their position, to develop the spatial awareness, to keep possession, and to use the numerical superiority to their advantage. Because here we have four players, so in this case blue is defending, so one of the players has the ball, then they should theoretically have seven options available. And it's a matter of movement to be able to create space, move the defenders to a certain inside to make an option available and essentially to to build out comfortably okay so there is movement involved and technical aspects involved so technically when a player moves they should be in a position and their body should be positioned so that they can take a first touch into space so that they can pass the ball first time right so both for the player with the ball and the player without the ball that they should be in a position where they can have a comfortable first touch facing the field and if they're not facing the field that their intention is to pass out to one of the green and and keep the ball rotating. The first part of this task is to connect seven passes. Once the seven passes are made, then the four goals unlock. Okay, and once the four goals unlock, then the players on the inside in possession that connected the seven passes pass to the outside. And then in this case, the green players do a one-time pass. And then one of the players from the team in possession that unlocked the goals does a first-time finish in, into one of the four goals. Okay, but it doesn't have to be the same player that passes the ball out to be the one to shoot. So for example, here, this player here for black passes the ball to green then green can dish it off to the other side so that the other player finishes first time okay why would that happen okay, so if we take a look at this example here if the pass is made here and this blue player is already trying to cover the pass back and cover this player here then the pass would be to the other side where this player is running in boom to finish first time okay so that is actually a coaching point that you can make there if for example and this is for the green players the green players try to force a pass to a player that is covered and is not available or, or isn't ready then that's a moment for us to freeze and then try to find the appropriate solution by asking the players okay what did you see and also for black give them a little bit of responsibility as to were you moving were you trying to become available were you connecting were you concentrated in the game do you know that the pass was going to you or to the other player what did you think what did you see and of course you want to do this as soon as possible as a coach you don't want to take too long having a full conversation with your players so quickly just three questions one two three three boom three answers boom okay let's move on and continue so that is the first variation the second variation is similar in the sense that the task is at the beginning seven passes so black does seven passes right once the seven passes are made then the goals are unlocked but now we restricted the goals so this variation is a little bit more difficult than the first one in the sense of like scoring because here black now is going to try to score in one of these two goals they can connect with any of the 
the four green players but when they unlock the goals it's the two adjacent goals and then defending the two adjacent goals and what happens now is blue can better defend because now they know where to defend and this should make the playing situation a little bit more interesting because now black has to find solutions to move the defenders because now they only have two goals available now the way that the teams attack is a two versus one here once black manages to dribble out then green becomes a defender for blue and then black goes two versus one with that one defender so then that is the second variation like i said it's a little bit more difficult simply because the team that is in possession is now going essentially one direction and the opposing team now knows more or less where to defend and the scoring situation is a little bit more complicated because now there is a little bit of thinking involved for the scoring situation it's not just a, a technical looking up at where the goal is where you are and how you're going to shoot the, the ball into the goal rather than okay now you're dribbling you're moving and there's a defender that's trying to prevent you and your teammate from scoring inside of the goal okay so that is the second variation okay so now let's take a look at the third variation of this exercise so here i use blue and green inside of the grid uh, just so that you know that it's important to switch your players and remember to switch the players on the outside as they would like to play inside the grid as well and this variation is the same at the beginning you connect your seven passes and you can use any of the four players on the outside right in this case blue is in possession and they can use the black players on the outside to connect and in the third variation after the seven passes now the team that unlocks the goals have the two opposite goals available okay so now what happens is the game becomes a two versus two situation okay so what that means is when the goal is unlocked then the two players that are going to be the defenders they start on the touch line and wait until one of the blue players dribbles into the goal and then they can start defending and then the blue comes in but now in this situation one of the greens can also defend and it becomes a two versus two game on the outside okay so the 4v4 plus four in the middle becomes a two versus two in one of the small and mini goals there okay so that would definitely be more complicated a lot more difficult to score but that is the task right you want your players to to adapt to the situations to think together and to move together so that is what happens in the third variation okay so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoy the exercise and try the exercise with any of your teams if you do let me know comment down in the comment section below and if you guys have any ideas for a small sided game that you would like to focus on uh, with respect to like a technical or tactical aspect of the game let me know comment down in the comment section below thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time ciao